Right, today I'm going to start by cutting out this suspension bit to fit the front rams. Got to go pretty much up to the top of the wings, I think. Now, I'm going to start on the other side. Show you that bit there first. You can see we're off cut up here. So I'm going to put a piece of big box section in there. Uh, can't really see a lot in this light, can you? No, not really, no matter what angle I hold it at. So, well, let's get this done. Right, there's a few bits cut out. I've taken the front subframe out and I've chopped that section out. That's just to give us clearance for where the ram's going to sit. Um, once again, I don't know if you can actually see this in this light. Let's see if I can show you from up here. Yeah, maybe. I've taken a section off at the end of that. That piece here, ah, there we go. You can see a bit better from there. There's a light in the way though. Yep, yeah, but uh, that's the end of like the box section where the subframe mount goes through just there. So what I'm gonna do, obviously cut it down a bit, but this piece of box section is gonna go up in there, along level with the end of the frame there. And that is where the hydraulic ram is going to sit inside and it's all going to be welded to the body, I think. I was going to weld it to the subframe, but I think I'm now going to go for the body. So let's carry on, see if I can get this a bit more situated in place and get back to you in a moment. Right, now for the next bit. This here is the start of the ram mount. That little piece there that I'm holding in with my thumb, that's where the ram's got a bolt, so I've still got to cut out some bits around the side so I can get the bolts in, obviously. And that, let's just drop that on the floor. That is going to mount in there. That's right up the top by the wing. That's in there. So that is where it's going to go. I might, just thought about it, I might mount that ram, that um, thing around the other way. Be easier to get the bolt in. See, thinking of things all the time, aren't I? Right, now I've got the ram tapped in place. Time for a test fit. where it's got to go looks good from here it's just a question of where that bottom yoke sits in comparison to the upper control arm let's see No, 
big fail. Um, it's too much distance there. That's got to go a lot lower down. Or should I say the ram's got to go much further up. You made Doesn't a mistake, fit. Then. Yep, made a mistake. <laughs> it's not gone right, mate. So, a bit of a rethink. I think I can't use these rose joints, I don't think, so I'm going to have to figure out something else. Okay, okay. This is what I've done. I've cut a little piece off of the actual mounting bolt that I've welded to the ram. So I've welded a new bolt to it with like half the head on it. And I've actually cut down the rose joint as well. So I've probably taken a good inch out of it. I mean, that's how long the original rose joint was. And you can see how long it is now. It's probably about half the length. So, and I've also taken a slither off the end of the ram as well. Thought I'd uh, risk it for a biscuit. So now that fits in there nicely and the other rose joint sits nicely on this at full, when the hub's on its full drop. So that should fit in there just nicely now and I've pushed it up, okay. I'm not getting a full, full drop out of it so I might even cut that down a little bit. There's no big deal on the end of that really. I mean that can go pretty much anywhere so. Right. Well, I'm going to try and get this tacked in the car today, but unfortunately what I've got to do, the subframe there, I haven't cut that exactly straight compared to the box section at the top there. So I've just got a sliver bit off of that. So I've got to drop the car down, take that bit off of there, and then weld that in the car. Well, I'm going to, going to weld all this in properly first and make that all really strong. And once that's done, then I can... Uh, weld it all in the car let's do this right started stitching this in I oh, can't see that bit there we go all the way up there see if I can give you a view at the top so just got to carry on fill in some holes ah, shame you can't see it oh where's my torch Ah, there it is, hey, you'll be able to see this bit now, so let's start off, well did that bit round the top there, just got to put some filler plates in here, up there, that should all be nice and strong. Well, that's today nearly done. Um, I've got one corner in. I'll turn the camera around in a minute and give you a bit of a better show of that. But it's looking pretty good. Yeah, there you go. That's that side in. That actually tucks in there quite nice and it lines up with that lower arm absolutely perfect. That is the ram on full extension and the hub as far down as it will go. Likewise, when I push it up, the ram's fully closed and the hub is far, as far up as it'll go. Everything's worked out absolutely perfect. The ram's tucked in there just nice. Look, look, it's absolutely spot on. Really pleased with how that's come out. It's got to do a little bit more finishing, I suppose, with the uh, subframe. Just uh, weld some more, bit more, more bits in that and make it look a bit neater. But generally, it's in. really pleased so just the other side to do now done one side pretty happy with how it's turned out for another day thanks for watching